Okay, uh, what I have here are the 3D components of the K6 ARK single paddle. Uh, this is printed in uh, PETG, and uh, I got all the pieces printed. Uh, this piece is optional, but I do recommend it. Um, this is the bottom piece. Then the paddle part goes in here. Uh, there's no moving part. The paddle moves. There's It uses this piece of plastic here as a hinge. So there's no um, bearings or anything else that's needed. Uh, this presses into the bottom plate. And then the top plate presses on. There is some hardware that you need to buy. And Adam lists all that on his site. Um, you need these little screws. Uh, and you need this little stereo jack. Now I bought a pack of these. Uh, the ones that Adam recommended. Uh, I have had a, several of them that were no good. Uh, you try to plug a stereo into them and they didn't work. So you're going to need to try that out beforehand. Uh, Adam, I think, used 30 gauge wire. And I've used some smaller wire myself, but this is 26 gauge. At least I, I believe it's right around 26 gauge. I'm going to try this. Um, the stereo jack has three pins. You don't solder to the bottom center pin, and you'll see why. But there's the two pins on the side, and you just basically need to fold a little piece of wire around it. The, the smaller, the better, and solder that to that, and you're ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is fish this at the back hole and put the nut on. So I bend these up so you can kind of get an angle on it. And uh, as you can see, it's close. You need to get it fished up through there. So I'll use a little pair of tweezers or something to kind of pull it up. It is a little tight, or it can be a little tight here. There it is. Pops right in. So there is a nut here. Uh, put the nut on, but don't put it on super tight just yet. Okay, so you want to make sure that center pin is connected there. And the reason for that is when you put this on the base, hopefully you can see that center hole there. You put the screw, you put the little screw into that hole and it pinches that bottom connector to the base and that becomes your center connector. Um, so there's no soldering for that center connection, which is actually really clever. Now, these guide pins, you see these little pins here that fit through there, are really tight. And once you snap this together, you kind of just kind of push it together. Um, if you try to get it back apart, you will break it. Uh, I have broken several doing that. But now that I've got that in there, what I need to do is take my wires and fish them through the little holes here uh, on the, in the side. So, and you don't want to bend these wires too much because uh, they will break. And you want to kind of keep that loop, keep it from forming a tight loop when you pull it through. That just makes it difficult. So you want to keep it uh, pretty tight when you, when you pull that through the hole. Uh, you don't need a lot of excess on the inside. And pull it through. Oh, that one went much easier on that side. Uh, see, I got a little kink there, which I want to try to get out because I don't want anything on the inside. There we go. Just need a little extra tug. So those are through. So that's good. Now... The next thing I would do is get this screwed to the base. Um, and you do want to pinch this together. And like I said, these holes are really small and it's really tight. Um, you can press down really hard and probably do it. Um, after I was done and I had all assembled, I just dripped some super glue into the cracks to hold mine together, my other one together. So let me see if I can just press down on this hard and get it to snap into place. Give me something hard to push on. Like I said, it is really hard. You may not even need super glue after it's done. 
Actually, I want to go down. You can see how it's down a little bit, but I kind of want to go. It's kind of on an angle. Um, and I kind of want it to be up. Now, when you put the top on, it'll probably straighten that out a little bit. So let's go and put the screw in now. Hopefully I'm staying in focus. So screw down the center. And you kind of want to keep, try to keep the center part from twisting. Because as you tighten the screw, it'll want to push it off to the side. I found that sticking something down there, like a small screwdriver or something, to kind of keep that pin centered helps when you're assembling it. So you can get this down tight without it moving. Okay. So now that's pinched down into the bottom. As you can see, when you move the paddle, it's going to move. Um, there'll be screws through these little holes. Um, so, yeah, I think that's I think that's good. So now I can put the top on, uh, or I can try putting in the side screws. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a one sixteenth bit driver for these little tiny set screws. Again, you get these in a bulk on Amazon. Um, to get all the parts to make one, it is kind of expensive, um, but you have to keep in mind that you'll be able to make quite a few out of these. So you just kind of push this onto the wire, make sure there's no, and then just kind of screw it in. And it does take a little effort. There's no threads here. You're literally forcing this in. And I think it's going so one side. Oh, my screwdrivers. So, and you do want to go in pretty far um, because that screw is going to touch that center screw. So it's that's pretty close. And these screws are cheap, so the the driver tends to stick in them. And then all I do. You should just wiggle that a little bit and that wire comes off and there's a little piece left over. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, pull that tight. Otherwise it'll get in the way. And sometimes you do have to bend it out of the way on the inside once you're done. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this side. And you kind of want to keep these straight when they're going in. This one's going in easier than the other one. And you want it to be pretty close to that center screw because you're not... Um, you don't want to be moving the paddle too much. Oh, I got that one stuck on there. Oh. Yeah, that bit I don't think is the right size, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm using. Um, so that wire, to me, is kind of in the way. So where's my little tweezers that I had? Here we go. So I'm just going to try to bend that out of the way a little bit. Yeah. So I can see a little bit better. Yeah, it's too far. I want it to be closer. And you don't want to adjust these too much because if you do, you end up breaking the wire and it won't work at all. So now let's go ahead and get the top cover on here. Top cover looks good. Let's push this together. It looks good. Could be a little tighter. Let's see. Let's see how we did. This is my Morserino. Let's turn this on. This is the rear cap that's optional. Um, it just gives you a little extra to hold on to. So my Morserino is on. Let's go CW keyer. Let's plug it in. Oh, so far so good. No beeping. No sound. Oh, it's because I'm plugged into the wrong port. I just grabbed it real quick. I had an audio cable plugged in, so 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, it needs adjusted a little bit here, so let me take it into it. Turn this side in. little more. It's not getting dits good. Let's try. Back it off a little bit. I'm getting some double dits. That's probably just me. There we go. So there's the Atom, Atom uh, K6ARK single paddle key, how to set it up and uh, put it together. I probably will take a couple of drops of super glue and put it in these cracks. I probably am going to try to pinch this down a little bit harder, um, but uh, for the most part it's done and it works and you've got yourself a nice little key. Now what I do, this is the back cover, it just snaps on and it just gives you a little bit more to hold on to. Um, you can tell what's where the top and bottom is because the screws are not quite centered. So you can see that the screw is closer to the bottom, so that's how you know that that's the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's it and your cable plugs in the back, like I said, gives you a little bit more to hold on to. Um, there you go. So, hope you enjoyed the video. 73. This is Tango Oscar Mike. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.